The Lehigh University Summer Composers Forum is uh, sponsored with the American Choral Directors Association and has been going on for nearly 20 years. What's really great about this forum is that it brings people of all different backgrounds and all different career trajectories and, and ages and, and just where you are in your musical life. Being able to just converse freely and share your examples with these people and just see maybe you'd never even thought about this way. Maybe you, you see how people hear things in a completely different way and it's really amazing. More about the, the rhythmic journey and the journey of from one line. When you're out in the world, the real world, and you have the distractions of life, all of these things limit the amount of time you can sit and compose. So when people come here and all of the distractions are taken away, suddenly you find a different type of focus. During the course of the week, each time somebody writes a sketch, he or she gets to hear that sketch in real time almost, uh, performed by the Princeton Singers. Uh, and then gets to go back and think about it and rewrite and gets input from colleagues and singers and mentor teachers so that each day the piece grows. And that's the magic and, uh, of, of the ACDA Composers Forum here at Lehigh. When you sing in a group that is bringing pieces to life as they're being created, uh, it's really an incredibly rewarding thing as a singer you're seeing the composer's intent, they're in the room, you're able to see on their face, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for, or no, that wasn't what I was looking for, I need to make a change. The first time I heard them read it, I was like, really? That, that came out of me? Like, when did that happen? How did that happen? It was pretty extraordinary, and to hear them work on it over the rehearsals and how quickly they pick it up, and just to have that almost instant, as close to instant as you're gonna get, when you have to have someone learn it. Realization of your ideas is pretty extraordinary. It's to challenge them to try things they've never done before and have a group of singers who will read what they put down and a group of mentors, Stephen and I, who will look and critique and talk about technique and talk about expression and all these things that go into choral choral music, and what's particularly fun is to see these composers wrestling with new, um, new ways of doing things. Put the consonant on the tide though. I wanted to go, I, I did ask You get to that point where you're so mired down by the, the details, the kids, the aging parents, the, the context, the daily context of your life, to find um, an opportunity to learn and to get feedback. Most of us, professional musicians included, don't get feedback about our work once we get to a certain point in our career. And so it's a really unique time to like combine that growing feedback with doing something new. And it's a manageable amount of time that gives people a chance to develop. And if we want to keep having great choral music, we need to keep developing people who are interested and not just the people who are able to go to school for it for whatever reason, but a lot of the people here work other jobs and have, this is just their passion and there should be a context for exploring your passion. <laughs>